Okay, ready? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's like a baby swing for a four-year-old. morning Bob ah! <laughs> what day is today Friday. Friday so what are you gonna take for share day so a mantis and a grasshopper huh there was something really funny going on with the toothbrushing this morning. We need to leave for school in like three minutes and you're not even dressed yet. Help me. And you're attacking me like some little creature. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you not want to go to school or something? No. What was one minute we could go? What? One minute we could go. What? I mean, that's not English. I don't know what you're saying. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's gold house foot now. What? Put your foot down. Foot just sucks. <laughs> Alright, you ready to go to school? What's today? What's today? Poopy day. Alright, so I dropped Brendan off at school. I am back home now. And I haven't felt very good the past couple of days. Um, I'm not working, which is fortunate because I've just had one of those headaches. I'm, I'm a headache sufferer. I just get headaches all the time. And the past couple of days, I've had one of those headaches that just doesn't go away. You know, like I can take time. It's not like a migraine. It's not like a debilitating headache where I can't function. Uh, but it's one of those where you have a headache and you take Tylenol and the Excedrin or whatever, and it goes away for a couple of hours and then it comes back and then you take the medicine again and it goes away for a couple of hours and then it comes back. I was also really tired because in my repertoire of headaches, you know, sometimes you get the localized headache, sometimes you get the all over headache. This was a tired headache and the only way I can describe it is, is just like a sort of an all over, like a football helmet of pressure just kind of pushing on your head and it just sort of pushes on your eyes and it just makes you really, really tired. And so I would just be sitting here at four o'clock in the afternoon just like, you know, not able to keep my eyes open. And so I would lay down on the couch and take a nap and I'm not a napper, I don't usually nap. So um, the tired headaches are really hard to function with. So that's just been going on for the last two days. So it's been not a very fun two days that I'm feeling a little better today. I have a little more energy. And so we also got some really fantastic news. We're really excited. Our building has termites, yay, yay. So basically I think they're gonna have to tent the building, which you know, it's like, you know, you're driving by down along the street and you just see the building with a big, like, straight circus tent over it. And so our landlord Ace is gonna pay for everybody to go to a hotel for a couple of days. I think it's gonna be like two days. The problem is, I mean, that in and of itself is not a big deal. I and mean, whatever, you stay in a hotel for two days. But the problem is when they're spraying, they're spraying poison all over your apartment. So you have to pack up everything, like your clothes, your food, anything that's not sealed, like in a can or a sealed package, anything that's open, bread, cereal, you know, any, anything that's sitting out has to be either packed up and taken with you or thrown away because it's gonna get poison gas sprayed on it. Um, your furniture, your clothes, your carpets, like all of those things have to be taken care of after the fact. So you, like, you have to wash all of your clothes, you have to wash your dishes, and the, the pest control companies apparently say that that's, oh, you, know, you don't need to do that, it's not a big deal, it's just gas and it, dissipates and goes away. But then other people come back and say, no, 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 that's poison gas. Like you just, you know, you, you have to take care of your stuff. So we're thinking, okay, we're gonna have to pack up half of our food, somehow like cover, but we can't move our furniture. So somehow cover it all with plastic wrapping or plastic bags or something. All of our clothes, anything we're not wearing, we're gonna have to wash when we get back. So, you know, that's like a lot of laundry to do. So, you know, what do we do? Pack it all up and take it with us? like in a car to a hotel, like it's just a, a big deal. 
our plants, our house plants. Fortunately, we only have two plants. Really, we have our big one in the corner here. His name is Ralph. And we have a little one out on the deck, a little cactus. It's a hardy little thing. Um, but I think the whole di the whole balcony, everything's gonna be tented. So you can't leave house plants in here. They're going to die. So we're gonna have to find a friend or somebody to leave our plants with because we can't really put those in a car and take them to a hotel. It's not really practical. Fortunately, we don't have any pets. Plenty of the people in this building have animals that are gonna have to be boarded. And we're also fortunate that Brendan's a little bit older. He's not a baby. Cause imagine if you're, you know, breastfeeding or if you're pumping, you have breast milk and formula, all this stuff that has to be refrigerated. You need a hotel with a refrigerator. <laughs> so that's like one more thing. And okay, this is a first world problem. Okay, this, I'm not like saying this is like the end of the world, a super big deal. But it's just one of those things where you first hear it, it's like, oh, okay, we've gotta be, we're gonna be kicked out of the apartment for two days. We're gonna go stay at a hotel. Okay, but then it's like, but you have to take care of all your furniture and your carpets and your clothes and your food and your pets and your baby and your plants and all this stuff. And suddenly it's like, whoa, wait, this is actually a lot of work to do. So that's something I guess is coming up. It's not coming up immediately. I think it's gonna be sometime next month, but we got the really great news yesterday. So we're super excited about this. I will say that Brendan will probably be pretty excited because he loves staying in hotels. And usually when we're in a hotel, we'll just get like one big king size bed and he'll just sleep in the bed with us. And he loves that. It's like camping out for him. Since he's gotten older, it's actually gotten easier because when he was younger or when he was like, two years old, he would still do the, the thing where you, you put him in, we'd put him in the bed between us and in the night he would like turn horizontally. So I would wake up at four in the morning and have his little feet like kicking me in the stomach or kicking me in the head. But now that he's older, he actually stays vertically in the bed alongside us. So that helps even though he's a bigger kid now, he's, he, he lays properly in the bed. So that'll be fun for him for sure. And you know, it's, it's certainly not gonna, interrupt our day-to-day -day lives. We'll get our work done on the computer. I'll actually be, if it's next month, I'll actually be working. I'll be back at Amazing Race then. So I won't even be there half the time, but it's just one of those things. It's like, oh, great. Like it's a huge disruption in your life, even though it's, you know, over when all's said and done, it's not that big a deal. So have any of you all ever had your house or apartment or anything tented? Let us know in the comments and let us know if you have any tips or recommendations or anything for what to do with your stuff during, before, during, after. Um, what the situation was because obviously this is new to us and the pest control company I think tells you one thing and Other people in reality tell you something else. So let us know in the comments Kevin's out getting his haircut right now And he's gonna stop at Jack in the Box on the way home because like I said I haven't been feeling very good the last couple of days and I just want like a big fat greasy hamburger of some sort so I actually need to go online and look up and see what specialty burgers Jack in the Box has because I haven't had any greasy fast food in a long time. I just really want some right now. Jack in the Box has something called Wakey Bakey Hash. I, oh, and they also have Hangry Chicken Hash. Hash, what? Jacked Jalapeno Hash. <laughs> I don't have their specialty burgers listed here. You know, the restaurants around here always have like the, the specialty burger of the month kind of thing, like the ghost pepper, jalapeno, buffalo, blue cheese burger. You know, and it's like that tall and half the time they're really good. <laughs> but this isn't listing them, it's just listing their basic big burgers. All right, I think I'm gonna have to go with the bacon and Swiss buttery jack. Anything with bacon on it's always gonna be good. A nice healthy low fat lunch. So I'm just going to wait for Kevin to get back with our delicious, unhealthy lunch. I don't care, I haven't felt good in three days, so this is just gonna make me feel better. Well, temporarily. <laughs> it might, might not make my stomach feel better later, but whatever. And then later we're going to pick Brendan up from school. And I think this weekend we're gonna try to go to a Halloween store. Uh, I mentioned that to him and he's really excited about it. He's really, really excited for Halloween this year. And I feel bad because we went to the library it's like a week, week and a half ago. And we got a whole stack of Halloween books that we've been reading. So he's really looking forward to Halloween. And I realize it's not even October yet. So I hope I'm not just getting him like way too excited, way too early, because it's still a month away, but it feels like it's right around the corner, which is, which is weird. It definitely feels like it's in the heart of fall right now. So anyway, so hopefully we're going to be able to do that this weekend. So you can look for that on the vlog on Monday. So that's it, have a great weekend and we will see you guys on Monday. I feel stressed and depressed I feel